everyone, it's Missy, and we're 18 to 17 weeks before our average date of last frost in my area, so I'm going through my checklist to make sure that I got everything. Um, first of all, I'm supposed to place all my seed orders, and I already have my seed. Um, a tip that they did say, and this is a tip that I use frequently, is I purchase multiples of the seeds that I want um, for packets because I do a lot of um, multiple plantings throughout my growing season. So like when the beets I plant in the spring and then I get a fall crop as well and so as my garden goes throughout the year I'm also planting new items to replace holes from where I've harvested. And um, by now you should already have your garden plan. This is the garden plan that I like to follow. It's um, one that's set up for my region and it's from the book Starter Vegetable Gardens. And this is like my favorite um, book for garden plans. And this is the garden plan. It shows how um, you start growing the various items and then there's little notes that says that it's going to turn into this. So for example, the bush snap bean is gonna turn into spinach, a, a row of spinach um, when the snap beans are um, picked or harvested. And it's some stuff like the tomato that's gonna be there throughout the year, but that's fine. I mean, like you can have snap peas and then you can plant carrots. Um, so, and then there's also other places in your garden where you would have had like the carrots growing earlier in the year. So um, that's why I have to have multiples. So these are like my multiples I'm always concerned about are my lettuce, my beets, my carrots, spinach, and radishes. That's what I do in my garden. Um, and then if you want, you can purchase asparagus crowns. I have wild asparagus that grows in our ditches. Um, it's native to my area, so it grows out in our grove and our ditches and whatnot. There's not a lack for asparagus in my region. So um, because of that, we don't actually plant asparagus, um, being that we can harvest it. But if you want to plant asparagus, you can purchase your crowns. Um, and then if you want to start growing something indoors, the checklist says to take your leftover seed or even the seed packets and grow sprouts um, just to kind of get your green thumb growing, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I've never done sprouts, um, but my book had an article about it. Here we are. Um, so you can be as simple as taking a wire colander or a pie dish and then the plastic bag to use as a greenhouse effect. And then you put the seeds in there with the water and then you can grow sprouts that way. Or you can purchase a sprout garden off of Amazon. Um, this one is, they said, triple tiered where the water you put up on top like once or twice daily and the water slowly filters down through the three layers. So that way you get your sprouts. The sprouts they recommend growing was broccoli, um, what does it say? Broccoli, mung bean, and alfalfa. So, um, if you're interested, you can give that a try. I personally am not gonna, I should have for the video, but I don't really have, um, room on my countertop because I have my arrow gardens going with my lettuce and tomatoes. So maybe next year, maybe I'll try it next year. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Make sure also that you get your germinating mix, seed mix, um, potting mix for when we start growing our vegetables, which is already gonna start next in the 16 to 15 weeks before average day to last frost. I'm gonna start my onions. So um, make sure you have all your seed because we are gonna start planting pretty soon here. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.